my name is Helene and should I always start my videos like this, telling my name? I don't know, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, today I'm going to do a tag video and that is the time and place book tag. Maybe you've seen this around on booktube. It was created by Jen from Jen Campbell. I will put the link to her channel down below as well as the other channel that tagged me because that is Ange from Beyond the Pages. Thank you so much for tagging me. Basically what you need to do is to find 10 books and then tell about the time and place you were in when you read them. Because sometimes when you read a book, you experience some interesting things in life and that results in some interesting stories about the book and your memories of it. So I've come up with 10 books, let's get started. Now the very first book is a book that I do own, but I'm not going to take it out of the box up there. And that is of course any Harry Potter book. I remember reading these books as a child and actually I wasn't a child, I was a teenager, maybe 13, 14 years old, but I specifically remember reading one of the books. I think it was the fourth or the fifth one in my bed one morning while the rest of the house was up and about and they thought I was sleeping. I just wanted to finish this book because so many things were happening and I needed to finish it. So I had quite a time reading alone in my room without anyone knowing I was actually awake. The next book is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which some of you may know is my favorite book of all time. This book I actually read on my computer the first time I read it. I read it at the university, at the library, on my computer. I had this Kindle app that I downloaded and then I found some free classics and I decided to read Jane Eyre first. Naturally, I fell in love with it, even though I didn't read it in physical form. So that memory is kind of close to my heart because I was supposed to study, but I was reading Jane Eyre at the library. And since then, I have now gotten this beautiful copy and I've reread it and I still loved it. Next, we have kind of a funny book and that is Vampire Academy Shadow Kids, the third book in the Vampire Academy series by Michelle Mead. Now, I read this book in Ireland. I went to Ireland some years ago with work and one of the days we had to take quite a long train trip to Belfast in Northern Ireland. So we had some time to kill. I decided to bring my book. They noticed my book and they were like, are you reading this? Are you reading about vampires? And I was like, yeah, vampires are cool. They are hip. So. I don't know, I just found that quite funny that I needed to talk to them about vampires and that's a memory I have of this book now. Next we have another classic and that is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Specifically this copy because I brought this with me everywhere. Naturally this book took me quite some days to read and I took it with me on the train. I remember one day I took it with me in my bag visiting a friend and she noticed the book and she was like this book looks so so boring I mean this cover didn't really scream read me to her and I tried to persuade her that this was actually a really great read but she wouldn't listen to me so that's another fun memory I have of this book and this one also turned out to become one of my favorite classics Angels and Demons by Dan Brown which I read at my parents terrace in the summer and that's why I included this on this list because I just really like this memory of sitting in the sun while the birds were twittering. My dad was reading in his book on the other side of the terrace and I just really enjoyed this crime story. It is so fast paced and it was perfect for a quick summer read so it had to go on my list. Next is War and Peace by Liu Tolstoy in this unabridged version as you can see now naturally as with Anna Karenina this took me quite some weeks to read and I read some of this book while visiting my grandmother my grandmother is now dead and I think that's why this book has become so precious to me because I remember reading it while visiting her for some days she was laughing at me because I was reading this humongous book she couldn't believe it and she was very nice about it and she was interested, but it was not a book that she was ever going to read. But I just remember sharing this book with her and it's such a fun memory. And this was the exact edition I brought with me. 
I didn't really end up appreciating the book that much. I mean, it was good, but it was way too long and way too dragging. But nonetheless, I do have some fun memories of reading it, and especially the memory with my grandmother. Then we have His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Now, I haven't read this book yet, but I did start the first book in the trilogy called Northern Lights when I was in public school. And that is because I was scanning the library at the school I was maybe 11 years old and my teacher knew that I really liked to read. So then she came to me with this book, the first one, and she said to me, Helene, this book is so beautiful. I think it would be something for you. Would you like to take it home with you and try and read it? And I was so honored because that was the first time that any teacher had reached out to me with a personal recommendation. So of course I brought it home with me. I started reading. Unfortunately, I didn't really get into the story. Maybe it was a little bit too long for my age or I don't know what happened, but I still have some fun memories of this book and I'm very interested to actually read it. I plan on doing that sometime in October, November, during the fall. And once I do, I'm sure I'm really going to like it. Next is The Snow Child by you and Ivy. This one I read last Christmas, so I read it fairly recently. But I read it just after having received it as a Christmas gift from my parents. I was so excited. So I remember picking it up the day after Christmas, lying in my parents' couch with a nice blanket and reading. And I absolutely loved the book. And my mother asked me, do you like the book now that you've received it? And I was like, yes, I can already now sense that this is going to be a beautiful story. And it did turn out to become my favorite book of 2014, or at least one of my favorite books of that year. This book just reminds me of coziness and being in a safe surrounding with my parents in their couch and just having a great time. I Kill by Giorgio Faletti. Now, this is a crime story and it's one of the first books I purchased for myself. I remember when this book came out, it was very popular and very hyped and everyone here in Denmark seemed to buy it and read it. I was this little teenager, I was maybe 14 or 15 years old and I did love big books so I was tempted but I didn't know if I was going to like a crime story. So I got one of these chapter samplers and I read the first couple of chapters while sitting on a bench outside the library. I mean in Denmark it's not that usual to sit on a bench and read. And I did get some stares from some people passing by. I mean, it's not that it's a problem, but it's just not that normal, which is so unfortunate because in England and in France, where I like to travel, it's very normal to do just that. But not in Denmark, I feel like. So I just remember reading the first couple of chapters of this book on a bench and eventually I decided to purchase it and read it. So here we have it. The last book I have to talk about is The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. This book I bought in London last summer while I was participating in the Young Adult Literature Convention. That visit to London was such a pleasant time. I was there for three days. And besides from going to the literature convention, I also managed to go to Waterstones. I bought this book, I read some of it in my hotel room, I read some of it in Starbucks. And I just remember that trip through this book and I had such a fun time. I also met some other booktubers and I met some people who actually recognized me and came up to me and said hello. And I was so honored. That was the first time that happened to me. So this book reminds me of that experience. That is it for this tag video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day everyone. Happy reading and bye bye.